periods and things like that. I don't like it, but you know, you've got to have it, and it's just, every, every girl has to get it eventually, so to just put up with it. I guess it'll be kind of annoying, basically. <laughs> because yeah. my friends have it and, you know, they have to take all this stuff to school and keep on going to the toilet all the time. I had stomach aches before or I had temper. Because some people, they say have they, you have temper when you have a period, but I guess I might have a temper. I filled out in places, really, not much. My hips become rounder and there's other things. <laughs> Growing up is an adventure. We all go through it, and we all feel that we're the only one to have all the confusion and excitement. But you're not alone. It's exactly the same for your friends. Changing from a child into a young woman. It's the moment when you gain your independence, and with it, some of the responsibilities of being a young adult. And along with the different emotions go the physical changes, becoming stronger and more developed. Everything happens very quickly. Emotionally, you're on a seesaw, either up in the air or down in the dumps. But it's not just you, and it's quite normal. It's all part of puberty. My son, they're about the same size as me, but I'm probably the shortest by a little bit. Like you've got big tits, you've got big tits. Other people say, they're not so big, you know, they're really quite small. And some, some people just slimmer and everything, and sometimes I'm just worried about the way I look. Girls usually start puberty between 9 and 13. Some people start early, some a little later. It's different for everyone. The changes that happen during puberty take several years, and there's no set time for how long it takes. There's a lot going on inside and out. Puberty begins when a gland just beneath your brain, called the pituitary gland, sends a signal to your ovaries to start producing a chemical, a hormone called oestrogen. Oestrogen is responsible for many of the changes that are taking place during puberty. I don't like boobs. I don't want them. I had some discharge and I was okay there. Girls usually begin to develop earlier than boys. They go through what's called a growth spurt, shooting up several centimetres in a year or less. As you grow in height, so you begin to develop in other ways. Your breasts become larger and you may need to wear a bra. Just as your breasts start growing, you'll notice that hair will appear around your pubic area. Hair will also grow under your arms and on your legs. You'll develop a waist and your hips will become wider. You may notice a sticky whitish fluid in your pants. This is natural moisture from the vagina called vaginal discharge. This may also have a slight odour. A clear whitish discharge is quite normal. It's a sign that very soon you will experience that really big change, menstruation. Do you want tips on... I come home and I went to the toilet and then I, then I saw it and I took, my mum said, oh, don't worry, and I was crying. And I just quickly had a bath because it felt... Didn't like it. With everything that I heard, I thought it'd be hell, but then some people say, you don't even notice, you don't even notice. And I was, I don't know, I just thought that it'd be worse than it is, and it isn't really that bad. Menstruation, or the monthly period, is quite normal for any mature young woman. It's nothing to be shy or embarrassed about. Once you menstruate, your body is physically prepared to bear children. But that doesn't mean that you're ready to cope with parenthood in any other way, because the other changes that take place during puberty relate to your emotional growth. Gradually, as you mature physically and mentally, all the growing pains become worthwhile.